uh, it's a great time, you know, to be a Tiger. The scouting department they did a tremendous job. Not just to, you know, to go out there and find talent, but a great human being. Martin, uh, I mean, uh, let's start with him. There's a swing and a miss. Down goes Davis Bradshaw. There's another strikeout for time, man. This is just me. This is just my humble, op you know, opinion. I can see a guy, you know, that is going to be a, uh, you know, a big leaguer soon. We really believe in, you know, his talent, and uh, you know, he knows exactly what it takes. How do you see yourself progressing? How has that been so far? Just your development? Yeah, it's been um, had some ups and downs. Uh, definitely have to use more of my pitches and kind of gain confidence in them. It's been a little different than college. I mean, the hitters were a little better, but uh, I love it. That's just growth and that's why, that's why I'm here. For you, baseball, I assume, has always been the passion since you were young. When did that love start? I mean, as long as I can remember. I tried playing multiple sports growing up and baseball was always the one that I enjoyed the most. And um, I caught growing up until I was about 17 and I loved catching, it was my favorite thing to do. And so I think that's kind of where my root of the love of the game started. How'd you make the switch to pitching? Got, got too big and too unathletic. I was real lanky and I hit that growth spurt and so then started throwing hard and been a pitcher ever since. So far he's been great, you know, and, and, and I, I really believe that, uh, you know, he's going he's gonna to be, you know, one of the good ones. Sounds like you're pretty level-headed, pretty motivated. Where do you see yourself in two years? Uh, I mean, two years I hope to be in the rotation I mean, for the Tigers. That's obviously the goal. and. I think that I can do that and just I uh, got the potential and I just got to go out there and make the pitches. I call him Dylan and he doesn't like that. You know, he want me to call him the real deal. So, uh, you know, it's a challenge every time because I was like, okay, you got to prove it to me. <laughs> well, I've always called myself that ever since I was a little kid and my mom started it, you know, ever since I was younger. So about four or five, she's ran with that nickname. Where do you think that came from? Well, I was always kind of better than everyone in the sports I played, and so my mom was like, that's the real deal right there. Smith is trying to go three, and he will. I read that you had some D1 offers to I did. play football in college. I so did. where did you decide that, okay, I'm gonna go to Alabama and play baseball instead of taking the football route? I mean, that's a kind of a big decision. As I got in high school, I kind of told my coach I was leaning on the baseball route. And growing up, you know, I talked to a few scouts at different showcases, and they always told me baseball worked out better for me. And I listen, and it's paying off. But I mean, honestly, uh, he's a real deal. You know, he's a real deal, not just on the field, but off the field. He, uh, his teammates love him. You know, he got a, a, a great personality, and uh, you know, it's, 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 it's not too difficult, you know, to fall in love with a guy like that and root for him. And Cole Keith, you know, with all the respect, I've been in the game for a little bit. I never, I, I never saw a talent like his. You know, this young man is a special. I never seen nobody hitting the ball harder than he does. Nearly 6,000 on hand here in West Michigan on a Sunday night. And Keith hits it high, deep to right field. Hendrick looks, this ball and this game is over and gone. I mean, yeah, so far I've been here for almost two years and I've gotten better and better every year. And, uh, you know, I don't plan on that stopping, and, and I'm going to keep on working harder than everybody else. And he never satisfied. You know, that is something that impressed me the most. You know, he won the player of the week, and then the next day, uh, you know, we had a day off, and, and we had to give him, uh, you know, an opportunity for him to go home because he wanted to come back, uh, you know, here and work. And we had to tell him, no, 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 no. You know, this is your day off. Go, go, go out there and enjoy your day off because uh, he never satisfies. Keith awaits. He gets it and he hits it deep to right center. It's got some travel and it is gone! I grew up wrestling all the way until I was 15. I was really good at wrestling and then as I got older, I slowly got worse at wrestling and better at baseball because I hit some growth spurts and got bigger and my arm got um, better and I started to put some power into the ball as I grew up. So Obviously you want to get up to the Tigers at some point, but are you really trying to manifest that and really get there soon or are you kind of waiting for yourself to just develop more until you're ready? Uh, you're kind of trying to do both at the same time. I mean, obviously I'm trying to progress and get to the next level to Erie, to Toledo, to Detroit as fast as possible, but at the same time, like, I can't, it's out of my control if they move me or not. I'm just going to try to do the best I can every day.